2006 with uh, 67,000 kilometers, uh, roughly 40 some odd thousand miles. Alternator one way clutch pulley, alternator is right here. Clutch pulley is easy to check, just put your finger in here, try to move the fins. If they don't move, pulley is seized. 16. You don't need to lock it in place, but as you can see, it makes things easier to work with. Tool of the day, tool of the week, alternate clutch pulley set. Righty tidy lefty Lucy. should be able to hold the center section and turn the outside, it doesn't. A little bit of Loctite just in case. You want to make sure the pulleys are the same. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. And snugging it up, it doesn't have to be overly tight. Okay, so new, pu new pulley is on. If you stick your finger in here, you can hold it in one direction and not turn it in the other. I got interrupted. I'm not sure if um, if my last bit of info was um, all captured on video. So, anyways, the new pulley is installed. You can see I can flick it in one direction, and then the fans will continue to spin, and that's the one-way clutch operating. Or you stick your finger in there. That's what she said, and then you rotate it. Counterclockwise, it should rotate, but if you go clockwise, it should bind. <coughs> and since the locking tool is in place, installing the belt should be straightforward. As long as you can see the crank pulley. Uh, loop it around the crank first. Then the AC. Uh, sometimes you need a helper. Long, long pry bar or something.
and sometimes it is easier if you just take the bottom cover off. Okay, so I'll load the belt. The belt is back in place. I don't know if you can tell. Take your 16 and release it. And then run the engine, make sure the belt stays in its place. That's a four millimeter. Four millimeter pin. You can use a drill bit, but drill bits tend to break because they're brittle so whatever you stick in there be careful I don't want to be responsible for uh, break breaking pins that then fly into your eyeball thanks for watching